Let's talk about infidelity. Let's talk about cheating. Have you ever cheated? Yes. 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 Many times. All the time. I have. Yes. Why? Because we're bad bitches and we need to show the world that we're bad bitches. I get so many questions on infidelity. So many women leave their men because he's, he's been cheating. So many men complain that their woman is cheating or their wife has cheated. And of course, we see tons and tons of, of these videos on both sexes being caught cheating. Of course, the women cheating make a lot bigger splash than a man cheating. Because throughout history, it was more acceptable for men to actually cheat. And I basically want to point out some hard facts. And I know both sexes are not going to like what I have to say. But I know the women are going to have it even harder. Men know that women cheat. You know why? Because the majority of men who are having sex are not sleeping with single women. Yeah. And I can tell you without a doubt, the majority of women that I have slept with were not single. They, were e they either had boyfriends or they had husbands. And that's the reality of life. Would I have taken any of these women serious? Hell no. Because the evidence was there. If she could do it to someone else, she could do it to me. So that brings us to this very, very vital problem. And one of my f subscribers responded with, what, with this very simple point. And I want to read it. And it was based on this video. Why should all the men pay for your bad choices? And it's simply based on the fact that if a woman has a child out of wedlock or she left her husband for whatever reason, ignoring her duties as a mother and a wife, why should another man pick up the slack? Why should he pay for another man's seed? And she responded, and this was Remy Lopez. Hi, Remy. Yes, I heard you. She said, leaving my unfaithful husband was a good decision. And I want to challenge you on that, Remy. And hear me out. The husband that you picked, I am almost certain that this husband were desired by other women. Correct? Okay, so before I go on, smash that like button. Of course, if you love my content, don't be afraid buy me a cup of coffee the link is in the description and of course subscribe if you haven't already all right let's talk about this cheating monogamy is it even possible yeah let's get into it this husband had options of other women now hold that thought in your head because this is something vital that we got to come back to the simple fact, and, and you can watch this video, and even though it's a skit, you can understand where I'm coming from. This is what they look like, ladies. Just get you a man that cheats. I can cheat if I want to. With who? Your diet? Men exercise options. It's not cheating, per se. Because men technically can have sex with other women without any emotional feeling at all. And this is a thing that women don't understand about men. We're supposed to understand it when they produce an egg once a month and they go through these hormonal changes. You go through it once a month. We men go through it every single day when our ball sack is full of sperm and we need to get rid of it. You don't understand that feeling, that overwhelming feeling that you need to freaking release. You, ladies don't get it and it's constant. It is always nagging us. And for some reason, you all think that we're just dogs and we're just animals. We're human beings that were designed to reproduce. That's why we produce billions, tens of billions of freaking sperm every day. That's what we're designed to do. So if we're not reproducing, we need to at least get it out of our system. The mere fact, and I'm talking to gentlemen now, the mere fact that a man can develop prostate issues. How prevalent is prostate cancer in America? Oh, it's very prevalent. So not only just cancer, but uh, over 30 million men deal with prostate issues uh, that negatively impact their quality of life. Uh, each year, approximately 220,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer. Issues with his reproduction organs, 
if he does not orgasm more than five times per week, he could have problems. Evidence suggests that ejaculation frequency may be inversely related to the risk of prostate cancer. An observational study was conducted on 31,925 men with a 18 years follow-up and the result was interesting. It is seen that men who ejaculate often may have lower risk of prostate cancer than their peers who don't do it as frequently. Researchers followed about 31,925 men starting in 1992 when they were in their 20s and continuing through 2010. During this period, almost 4,000 of the men were diagnosed with prostate cancer. The study found that men who ejaculated at least 21 times a month in their 20s were 19% less likely to be diagnosed with prostate cancer than men who ejaculated no more than 7 times a month. Men who ejaculated more often in their 40s were 22% less likely to get a prostate cancer diagnosis. In my mid-50s now, I have to constantly get uh, prostate exams and check to make sure that I don't have problems as I get older. This is not a joke. We tend to see a lot of memes and we tend to see a lot of jokes coming across the internet on this fact. And women are laughing about it. But the point is, it's serious. Females have problems with their breasts, their mammary glands. Men have problems with their prostate. You have what you call use it or lose it syndrome. Meaning, for those men who are not having sex, America, one in three males under the age of 30 has not had sex in the last 12 months. So in the US, what's happened with online dating is it's amazing for the top 10% of attractiveness of men. It's okay for the top half. It is a disaster for the bottom half. And who are not ejaculating, the system literally shuts down. They're, they stop producing enough testosterone and then they become almost impotent. They become almost like women. So ladies, you gotta understand, you either use it or lose it. So this constant biological urge to get it out, that is constant. And if you, you ladies aren't opening the club to party every other night to your husband or boyfriend, you have to understand that urge. If you don't have a high sex drive and your man do, and you say you love your man, but he better not cheat on you, and you don't like sharing your man, I don't get it, sis you just don't want to share, then you need to turn that shit up and get that pussy up even when you don't want to. Or tag a bitch in to let her get him right, if possible. And everybody wins. You don't got to have sex when you don't want to. And your man ain't got to go without. I know y'all ain't ready for them type of conversations. And if the man has choices, he's going to exercise them. If he don't have a choice, that's the man you picked. But let's get back to my subscriber. The, the fact that you leave a man that is desired by other women, because the only way he can cheat is if another woman allows him in her life. Remember that. So he has options, right? Understand the fact that most men don't want to break up with you shows you that it's not love. Have a guy that had everything you wanted, but he cheated from time to time. But you were the main chick. Mm. Or a guy, let's say, let's say you're five deal breakers. He has three. Three of the five. Let's say you have five things you want. Yeah. He has three. <coughs> um, I'm not going to lie. As a but he doesn't cheat. I'm taking See, the I can't cheat. lie. I'm taking the, the cheat I'm, off. Because let me tell I'll you one thing. Yeah. That's very honest. That's yeah, honest. That's no, honest. Most honest. girls would. Yeah, most yeah. girls would. Yeah, only because I can't give that guy that has those mm -hmm. what like what i would give to the, someone who has everything i need type of thing. would you kind of look the other way and be like oh, i didn't see you know what it is i wish it was that easy <laughs> in, my, oh, in my head i like to say it out loud i would take the free but if he cheated subtly and didn't embarrass me yeah, publicly, yeah, yeah, exactly. the, I can't lie, I'd probably let it run. As long as I don't if find it out If there weren't no public embarrassment and he cheated very subtly, <laughs> like, then I no, can't lie. You're already being side shit. Like, of course True. you would take but, that. You know if a man is just relieving himself on the outside and he's taking that pressure off of you, why are you complaining? Why would you complain? If he's not throwing it in your face, if he's not bringing home any diseases, and if he's not bringing home any uh, babies, why are you complaining? The thing is, women don't get it. Women don't understand that you don't produce eggs every day. 
When you have an orgasm, you don't actually produce or, or pass, away, pass out sperm. You just let out a fluid. Yours is all here. The endorphins and, and, the, and all of the feel-good hormones that are produced in your brain. What, what, wouldn't you say, by and large, though, women are, attach more emotion to sex? Because we release a hormone that men don't during yeah, sex. Yeah. There so that. there's like a bonding hormone. And it's the more partners you sleep with, the less you release that hormone. So a lot of times, like when girls say that, it's like they, they've they had a lot of partners, so they don't release the hormone as much anymore. Yeah. Wow. That's probably where I'm at. Um, wow. I mean, oh, you didn't know that? That makes so much sense. That is what you women think men go through. No, we just need to get it out. That's it. That's why we can have sex with women we absolutely hate and cry about it after we had post-nut clarity. Yeah, that's a real word. I've had sex with women where I've just like almost cried afterwards just in disgust because I just didn't want to have it, but I just needed to release. I can guarantee you if you ask any man, any man who has options with sex, he will tell you the same thing. Every man has been where I have been. So don't look at me as an exception or the bad guy. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I asked Majority this, of men. Like I've, I've asked this question, like, have you ever slept with a girl that you wouldn't be seen in public with? 100%. All men have done that. Yeah. Well, so, most, most 99% of men have most done that. All I'm saying to you is, if you decide to leave a man because of his infidelity, not because he loves another woman, just because he bussing a nut somewhere, right? What do you think is going to happen to you when you leave him? So let, let, let's, let's, let's get a scenario in your head. You find a good man. You're happy with him, right? You agree to marry him. Went through the ceremony. You're building a life together. And after five, six, seven years, you know, things get stale. It's the same hole. Watch my other video on this. It's the same rod, right? He decides to go and exercise one of his options. Okay. So now... You are now five, six, seven years older than you were when you found this good man. Because he's still a good man. He still loves you, right? So you now you're seven years older. Let's just say you don't have any kids. If it has kids, you're even more screwed. But let's just say you don't have any kids. You're going to come back out on the dating market to find another desirable man. Because you don't want an undesirable man, do you? You want a man that's desired by other women, correct? And think about it. Sorry, you, no disrespect, because I think we're all an older panel here. That's yeah, fine to I'm, say. I'm 40 years you old. You hit the wall. You're like me. I was okay, married sister. for 10 years. Great. So you got to lower your standards and you will I'm change gonna your life. I'm not going to lower my standards at all, ever. But, but you're living in a pipe dream. If you think um, that you're going to attract a man when you're making multiple <laughs> six figures, that's going to like be, and I'm sorry, you don't look that sexual to me. I'm just being honest. You don't look like you're giving blowjobs every day. And are you going to be able to- I don't want to wanna look like that, by the way. Okay, great. Cool. <laughs> and let's see what kind of man you get. That's right. my point exactly. You're delusional to think you're going to get a high value man who's going to pay your bills, who you won't suck his dick, and you're not going to drop your six figure business I, for him. That man that you're going to get, he has already stuck his penis in a lot of other women, just like your husband did. For some reason, you think that, okay, once you marred him, that this should be the last vagina he should stick his penis in. That is what you're saying. I'm going to find a good man, the, one of the best on the market that I choose to marry and think that I'm going to make him monogamous. And my thing is so special that he's not going to desire any other.